village and the best way of getting out of the village is to get a school education. That's the exit, the certificate you can now go. Or even if they are not educated, they come to the so uh, the, uh, the migration really means the collapse of the rural economy. Their arrival in the city means all this. The Krasnikov culture, this huge uh, uh, immigrant population is not absorbed. There is no scope for them. Uh, the, and at the same time, there is a big spread of education. So you get this lower middle class people, uh, half educated, and they know they cannot be absorbed. The economy is not expanding, while the rural economy is not really collapsed. And the urban economy is uh, flourishing somewhat, but it cannot absorb all these people. So they take up the economy. In the village, uh, now that uh, you are going to have this huge urban uh, migration, immigration, how do you, what is the way out? There are four basic problems uh, in the history of our Housing and sanitation, uh, health, education and employment. <coughs> and we have studied these problems uh, and we have done more action research about these problems than anybody else. 16 years consistently, no publicity, no desire to <coughs> say that we are doing wonderful. We just have research. And to our surprise, we have discovered that the problems can be solved. Uh, this is how I offer myself for judgment. Go to any, uh, to other Christianity whether in Islamabad or Lahore or anywhere. And you will see these four basic problems. Housing, sanitation. Uh, housing and sanitation is, is the same. In fact, in the Katiyabadi, sanitation is more important than housing. Housing they manage somehow. But bad sanitation destroys their health and their property both. Compare housing, sanitation, uh, uh, health, education, and employment in many Kachiyavadi and then come to Orangi and see the difference. See the difference. That's the way out. Uh, we have a package of advice which if it was followed. And now uh, the most wonderful thing is happening. This is, this is the most hopeful sign that I see. I see very distressing sign of further decline. The spiral of decline is coming down. But at the same time, there is a paradoxical saying in uh, uh, Persia and Arabic. Uh, every decline also has uh, the sign of a rhyme. Every fall is sort of contains, or in every fall, the rise is in Every rise has a fall and every fall has a rise. So, I see this <coughs> that uh, uh, 20 or 30 years ago this was not common. What had happened in Pakistan, in Pakistan uh, this sudden access to power, this quick uh, acquisition of wealth had made a very bad role model. Uh, in Pakistan, we had destroyed the idealists. The idealists in Pakistan were sort of anchored in these institutions before partitions. In the local council, in the schools, in the, uh, you know, hospitals. These were cooperatives cooperatives, uh, uh, local councils, uh, uh, schools, <coughs> and hospitals. These were the main refuge of the idealists. Unfortunately, most of them were Hindus, and there were very few Muslims. Partition, this partition, the Hindus and Muslims were sent back in, and the few uh, Muslim idealists 
were corrupted. Or they just died. They, they, were, they were not renovated. There was no next. Now the new generation has lasted. Here. So this is my final. Now I, this is the background. You know now. Now you know what I am engaged in. Uh, what are my uh, uh, questions?